Now time for some more cutscenes. We'll get. Don't worry, we're gonna see a lot of action really soon. Even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial throne too. Yep, that's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. Oh, really? I thought that was a huge secret. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Not really. It's called a job. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. <laughs> awesome. Carol's been doing his homework. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. What you read in particular about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? <laughs> so, are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. I don't know where the reader's going because we're all staying in this room. Oh, do? That's what it looks like, anyway. Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. Anyway, now we gotta talk to everybody. What's the matter, boss? Man, I don't know if I if I like you calling me that. Boss is the boss. What would you have me call you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. It makes me feel silly to have you have you call me that. Don't you think yeah you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know you're... You, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? God, I suck at reading. The boss of the guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it blah, 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 blah. <laughs> For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First, we need to take a cell to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? My guild job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get a reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have pack, picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be <laughs> will be that much bigger too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah, that's fun. I think Rita's is actually in the other room. I guess since one room only has like two beds. Well, this room looks nicer. Actually, it kind of looks a little more. Um. What is it called? Like. 
I don't know how it's pronounced, like Regal or something. It looks a little more authentic. How do I get over here? <laughs> do you really plan on helping us still find that feral whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess... <laughs> or something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget the whole thing. But it won't help her if she's used to... If she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession of the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. I wish this game had more voice acting. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But you're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I detect sarcasm in that voice. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she what she really wants to do. You realize it might come to blows with this feral guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Yeah, we're all gonna die. <laughs> all right, have it your way then. Well, you don't have to be, go all pirate on me. Jeez, I was just trying to be nice. We're already at like 20 minutes. I shouldn't even still be recording right now. But then again, I do ha I do have some stuff I want to cut out and fast forward. So I think we're still okay. Hello, repeat again. What are you gonna say this time? Oh, really? I said that I would will deal with things in my way of doing. I let Kimor escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how this could happen. <laughs> Damn it, I just read that wrong. I know, I know, we have a guild's job to deal deal with rather than Kimor. Really now? I did not know that. I can't just let him loose. Man, men of this kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I do something. I let the Empire form the guild for this kind of purpose. That's just what I was thinking. You will get what he deserves. What do you have to say now? Oh, really? Wow, you're so full of intellect. I never knew that. Okay, where's Raven? Oh yeah, that's right. We just have to talk to Judith. Ugh, I suck at finding her for some reason. Like everyone else is easy to find. Raven and Judith are freaking pain in the butt. Sometimes you see Raven over here by the docks. Oh, there he is. Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. <laughs> what, you ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten what you did back in Dole Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list for all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on the trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at K-Mock and, and at Gosparov, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. <laughs> what should you worry more is whether or not these little bones will be able to keep up with the young for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estella goes back to the castle? Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights tomorrow. I can see in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. No, not at all. <laughs> well, it's really too bad you're going to be traveling with us, but I might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn later, boy. I always wonder what that symbol meant on the back of his jacket. I think that just might be the symbol of the Altos Guild, but that's eh, just under speculation since I've never actually seen the symbol up close. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> What's a good thing I ran into you? Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything that I was planning on doing for him. Yep, that's about right. I it came to my senses after Judith told me. Till now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If... If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire will run off to your, to your bidding. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. 
I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but these are still so many things left to learn about this world. And Pharaoh is one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying the insipid poison of this world. Sounds like you made up your mind. Really? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> I always wonder what this scene would be like if it had really had voice acting. That would be kind of funny. Oh, uh, sure. It's not... <laughs> it's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix for yourself. Well, there's another guy who's also tough enough to crack, so I think we'll let him be, be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the end. I'll see you. Tell Rita stop being a pirate, would you? It's starting to creep me out. <laughs> Usually, to talk to Judith, you just have to try and leave town. Just try and remember that, because I never guessed that. Are you going to look for that Kimior guy by any chance? No, nah, I'm just going for a walk. Where, where were you? Just out for a walk, like you. What you said to Estelle earlier haven't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Alright, sorry to beat, <laughs> beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. Alright. Stop being so laid back about everything! So you weren't going off to look for Kimor after feeling bad about hurting himself for what, what you said? No, I wasn't. Hmm. You don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Yeah, stop questioning me! Don't put your it off! Sometime. Fine, whatever. I think we can go sleep now since we technically talked to everybody. Repeat, Rita, Carol, Estelle, Raven, Judith, that's all six. And then we just talked to the innkeeper. Jeez, 27 minutes! Holy crap! You don't have to ask me. Why can't you just go to your bed? Why do you have to actually talk to the person? Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Ah, that smile scares me. Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, um, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, <sighs> to be young again, I tell you. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down, girl. To the harbor, then. Ah, uh, we're all together again. Okay, I'm going to save my game and then finally turn off my Xbox. So I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. And maybe I'll just cut this part out into two parts, like 14 minutes long or something. Or like... We're actually almost at like a half hour now, so I can probably split it up in half. Okay, I'm sorry about all this stuff and cutscenes and all that, but don't worry. The, we're gonna get to something really exciting. <laughs> so I'll see you all next time for more Tales of Vesperia. Again, goodbye.